Hey, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today, I would like to invite you to get unready with me. <laughs> um, I don't like doing viral videos too much. I like to do my own thing, but I think this is going to be a chatty one. And I like to um, tell you about my makeup routine at night and what I'm going to be doing to um, change my makeup this next week and what I'm going to be putting in my makeup bag and what I'll be taking out. So with that, let's start. So usually I put my hair up in a ponytail, but I'm just gonna clip it up here with these little um, thingamabobs. No idea what they are, but maybe they're clips. Maybe. So, oh, have a jagged nail. Don't you hate it when you get jagged nails? I keep them short, but um, when I do fake nails, they always get jagged. So I'm going to be using my Clinique Naturally Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Um, you're supposed to rub it in to, onto your lashes and everywhere. It's supposed to be gentle. Who knows? Um, all right, I'll tell you. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm using it just because I have it. I bought it and now I regret buying it. It's one of those products I regret. I'm going to put it once I finish it. Using it in, in a little... When I'm going to be doing um, my finished products. I feel like my, my skin is sensitive. I did a mask last night of the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil mask and for some reason I feel like my eyes or my skin is sensitive or it's because I cut my rabbit's nails this today and so I'm allergic I'm allergic to all animals although I love them especially my rabbit and um unfortunately whenever I cuddle her I mean I get I, I break out in hives and I get all these kind of allergy kind of things. So unfortunately, um, I'm allergic to her. But I just love her. I can't get rid of her. She's a part of my family. My husband loves her. Everybody loves her. I mean, she's so sweet. She's mischievous, but she loves to play. She's just beautiful. I love her. Her name is Arnoub, which is rabbit in Arabic. My husband named her rabbit, of all things. But she's a sweet little rabbit. Maybe one of these days I will um, show her on my channel. So, with that, I think today or this coming week I'm going to be using ColourPop. Mm, cosmetics and then um, we'll see how that goes now for the rest of my face I use a my micellar water cleansing water and I'm going to be using this L'Oreal L'Oreal no rinse or harsh rubbing um, complete cleanser it removes makeup even waterproof and this is for all skin types so what I like to do is I like to take baby wipes not face wipes baby wipes and I like to soak them. They're a little already wet, but I like to soak them in the micellar water. And then I cleanse my face. So just like that, I just took the water, shook it, and then I did this. Just poured it on there. Then I'm gonna go all over my face and remove all makeup, blush, everything. It works really nice. I like to do this instead of cotton balls. Um, I don't know. I mean, if it's good enough for a baby wipe, it should be good enough for my face. And see, more stuff comes off. I usually do two of these, just to make sure that my face is really clean then after um, then I go and I just kind of splash my water my face with water 
and I pat it down with a towel. But first, this. So I'm going to go in with wipe number two. And, sorry. So I think my tea tree oil mask was maybe a little harsh for my skin. So maybe I'll just do it like once a month or something. Um, I have like a couple breakouts like right here. And it just kind of drives me nuts. But um, this works really well. Sometimes I just go back in with the eyes. I still have some on this eye. See? That stupid eye makeup remover should have removed everything, but it doesn't. And the and the mascara that I used was not waterproof. So I have no idea what to deal with with that is. So this is the second wipe. And this is the first wipe. So it works pretty well. I like to clean out my makeup bag and put in things that I may or may not need for the following week. And this includes everything. I really just rotate the eyeshadows. And, um, every, and, and sometimes the face palettes, like maybe the blush or maybe the contour palette. And everything else I just kind of keep in there, even some extra eyeshadows. So um, everything else though stays. So if I'm using a mascara, I use it until I finish it. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with putting in my mirror, which is a nice folding mirror, pretty big. Hello. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyway, so if I blinded you, I'm sorry. So I go in with my mirror, and then I put in my face powder. So I hit pan on my MAC powder. Yay! But I still got some stuff in there, so I'm going to keep using it until it's completely gone. I'm obsessed with that. I don't know why. This is the first time I ever actually finished a product. And then I have this Well People Brightener Cream. So I'm just going to put that in there just in case. And then I have, if I keep someone to use it, then I have this uh, Benefit um, Erased Paste and Eye Brightener. So I'm just going to put that in there. Then I have concealers and correctors. So I have this green correct for redness. Um, this is for my under eye circles. And this is just a highlighter. I mean a concealer highlighter for whatever. So I'm just going in there. Oh, and I have this wet and wild one that I'm still using. Um, then I'm going to go in and put in my eyeliners. So I have these two green ones. And I'm missing one. All right, well, I just purchased this one, so I'm just going to put this one in there, which is the Epic Ink Liner by NYX. So I'll just throw that one in there, which is a black. Then I put in my eyebrow. Um, this is the Make Me Brow by Essence little um, brow setter. And then this is a lip liner. I'll throw that in there. I'm going to start this new mascara called NYX Voluptuous. So I'm going to throw that in there. Next... I've been using this MAC blush, which is in Flower Power or Fleur Power. It's a satin blush. I'll just put that in there. Then I'm going to put in this dramatic eyeshadow, which is a Cosmic uh, Clash Spellbinder. You guys can't get it anymore, but I like to use it some personal um, for personal use. I mean, if you can't get it, then um, I probably won't put it in a video. Or I might. I don't know. If you have it, you have it. Then I'm going to use these, um, put in these three eyeshadows by MAC, which is from this past Christmas, which is Forward March, Rabble Rouser, and Pretty Dainty. Again, these you can't get anymore because they were limited edition, but I still like to use them for those of you that do have it. And if you don't, there's always colors, um, pink eyeshadows out there that you can replace it with. I'm going to throw in this primer that I've been using still forever. I don't use a lot of primer. I mean, I use it for every makeup but it lasts a long time so i'm going to put this back in which is the lorac perfection and i recently bought this uh brow gel because i've been using pencil and it always comes out very thick and i don't like it um but i'm going to try this brow gel that i can define it with as much or a little bit as makeup as i want then i'm going to throw in this highlighter this nyx highlighter which is so pretty it's this gorgeous pink um duochrome sheen gorgeous love it I can't forget my makeup um, nude eyeshadow base. Throw that in there. Now, I'm going to take out 
my YSL um, Fusion Ink Foundation. I'm going to be replacing it with this Fiona Styles um, Matte Finish uh, Foundation. I want to start using that one. I'm just going to rotate my foundations. Then I haven't used this ColourPop um, eye palette that I put together, which is the pressed powders. I really like these shadows. Um, they're kind of warm, but they're also very pink and I have this um, white one that I can like tone things down with or, you know, I, I really like these. So I'm going to try to do some looks with this palette that I put together from ColourPop. I'm going to put that right in there. Now I'm down to contour and highlight. So this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess that I like using. It's like this. It's very pretty. It's a very soft color. I like to use it. But I also have this Fiona Styles um, new palette that I purchased in medium light. So I'm just going to put this in there. And um, I'm going to. I like to have options because sometimes I'm on the run from my house and. Um, and I like to have options in my makeup bag so that when I'm getting ready in the car or at work, if I need to like do it really quick, I have some options and um, I can play with my makeup. So I have this pencil sharpener. I don't always need it, but I like to keep it in here. And I'm going to be taking out my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, which is the uh, Vintage Vamp. As I'm not going to be using that for now. And with that, I guess... Oh, I can't forget this other eyeshadow base, which is this... Um, a pearl white um, NYX eyeshadow base which really makes your eyeshadows bright um, it's a nice it's nice it's a nice eyeshadow base so I like using this when I really want to make my eyeshadows light if they're not light already but if they're already light or vibrant they make it more vibrant so I really like that and that's my makeup bag for for next week or for this comp this whole week and I'm just gonna leave my brush bag at it as is. I always have all these brushes. So I like to have my little makeup to be glam or not glam as, as, as I want. So I don't always have time to sit here um, in my room and do my makeup. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and please give me a thumbs up if you liked it or subscribe down there. The button's over here, the button's up there. <laughs> if you want to like continue watching these videos. So hope to see you next time. Bye!